It's all about food, shows, and fun. It fits everybody, families, kids. Uh, the food, we have a variety of food. We have shish kebabs, we have uh, kofta, we have desserts. Uh, we also have all these, you know, replica of the monuments, columns behind you, uh, the pyramids of Giza, and a stage right here, if you see it. In this stage, we perform uh, a song that was actually sung about 5,000 years ago. And also, we do, we do hymns in a Coptic language, which is an old Egyptian language, and also some dancing in Arabic language also. Um, how did this get started? So it got started in 2019 when we did our first uh, Egyptian festival. But we kind of passed upon after that because of COVID and so on. So we rather to save people to be saved than us, you know, uh, doing anything else. But we are coming back much stronger than before. This is going to be the second annual. And as you can see, we have a lot of foot traffic yesterday. We did the best that we can to, uh, you know, put a good in, put a good show for people. People love it. Um, what do the proceeds go to? Oh, the proceeds go to fundraiser for the church. We need a couple of things to happen. For example, we need a new roof. We need to fix a couple of things in the back of the church, extend the church a little bit, fix up the parking lot. It's, it's a mainly fundraiser, 100% to the church of Archangel Michael in St. Anthony. So I know, obviously, you guys, we're, we're here to have a good time, right? But like, why, why, why go through all this effort? Why, why put all this stuff together? What's, what do you think? Uh, from us, is, we're trying to do a fundraiser for the church. And we thought, why don't we do something and introduce our culture, Egyptian culture, to the public? To the Richmond City people and the Chesterfield, uh, you know, uh, citizens, um, and I think the way we do it, uh, we find a common ground where people can actually meet and learn. So it's an actually it's a it's an educational experience, a learning experience about monuments, culture, food, you name it. I mean, it's all the five senses. I mean, you smell and taste the food, you hear the songs, you get good vibes, good vibes. I love that man, because I gotta say, that food smell. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Um, so. I, I heard, that I know there's a couple other Egyptian fests, which as far as I'm concerned is all good. The more the sure. Better. But I heard someone said that yours is the best. So Correct. Why, why is yours the best? Ours is the best, not just because of the food. It's actually made, made by a special chef that came from Egypt. 15 years of experience. He used to work in uh, Sharm el-Sheikh. His name is uh, Maher Swiris. He knows what he's doing. Uh, but not just the food. Also the show that was put in by Nihad Saif, which is one of our producers of the show. And also the group effort of the church and making all these remodels and, and all this stage. It's, it's, it's everywhere. It's the congregation of the church. So the show, the, 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 the church tour was given by uh, Father Michael and Father um, Elisha is the father of the church. And also the food, like I said, food shows, church tours. Uh, and this is going on what hours today? And, and I guess if you could just say the day and not like say tomorrow in case we're going to hear this tomorrow as well. Say like the day and the hour. Sure. So the show started at 10 uh, in the morning until 9 p.m. But if you miss it, that's all right. Tomorrow we'll come back again at 11, 11 in the morning until 9 p.m. And you know what? Try it while it's here because it only comes once a year. Could you say the last part again about the hours tomorrow, but just say like either say Sunday or say today? Sure. Yeah. So uh, today, Saturday from uh, 10 o'clock until uh, 9 p.m. And tomorrow, Sunday between 11 and 9 p.m., we're going to be serving all the good stuff that you're looking for. All right, sounds good. Anything else you want to add? Tell me about the festival right now. I want to invite everybody to come over here and learn about the Egyptian culture, taste the food, meet the people. You know, it's, it's, it's a great vibes. You're going to love it. You're not going to miss it. I'm telling you. If you miss it, you're going to regret it. Next year, when you're actually going to see it again. Only comes once a year, like we said.